Well, this is Emperor 1918, and I guess it's been two weeks since I made my last video. Well, I know subscribers are starting to come up a little bit, which is good. Uh, I've been real busy the last couple weeks, and once again, I just want to say that thousand dollars emergency fund that uh, Dave Ramsey always talks about is absolutely true. Because then I ended up getting another hit, which was me losing my car key. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what happened, but I had to get a new key cut and made so I could go home. It took him four hours to do it, but I got her done, and it cost me. A 200 bucks so that's just to show you that emergency funds are always good to have the next thing I want to talk about is this we grow and we move on chapters close and chapters open in our lives you know from the day you're born to the while well, you're being a child that's one chapter and then when you graduate school that's another chapter in your life buying a house, getting married, getting divorced, moving from one place to another, changing jobs. Those are all changes. Now, me, myself, and I have been renting out of this place for the last 10 years. And it's just time for me to move into a different house. So over the next several weeks, so several months I will be busy getting that running and going and trying to find the perfect place but I'm also looking at it for an opportunity to, to be a stepping stone to the place that I would like to have in the meantime it'll have to be a place that's going to get me from point A to point B is it going to be a huge house? no is it going to be a perfect house? absolutely not but who knows, it might be, have a few acres, and it might only have a part of an acre. Maybe even an acre, who knows. But, at the same time, it's just like cars. Sometimes you have to get a car that breaks down a lot, to get you to the car that won't break down a lot. Like my friend, her car broke down again, and so we said, well, here's the deal. I'm going to get it towed to the place, and we'll get you into a car. And that's what we did. Got her into a different car. So now she's got her own car. She's making her own payments. Now, do I say that you have to have car payments all the time? No. It just happened to be the fact that, well, she doesn't have, you know, six, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars saved, much less three grand. However, she does need a car that runs, goes, and won't break down. Well, the car that we got her was a $1,000 car, and guess what? I knew it wasn't going to last more than a couple of months. But that's what we needed, and that's what we had to do at the time. Man, am I a long talker. And I'm on my way home from going and see my uncle and the family on that side, and it's kind of pretty interesting to see all the family members and some of the folks I haven't seen in for quite a long time. But there was I wasn't there for the bonfire or anything like that just because of the fact that I got to work tonight. So I got to go home, take care of my puppy dog, and so on and so forth. But on another token, be prepared. Be prepared as much as you can for any type of event. I don't care if it happens to be a fire, a tornado, a hurricane, loss of a job. These are just everyday things that happen. Car breaking down, somebody breaks into your home, steals your stuff. Now what? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? This goes with the other being prepared, uh, prepared video that I made. Life is short. Life is sweet. And then you die. So live life to the fullest. And one of these days I'll talk about my adventure and talk about... You know, my adventures of being married to a beautiful Filipina. But for right now... 
This is Semper Fi, signing off.